a centennial story from the Portland Clinic. He loves to play the banjo, but he'll tell you since he was a kid, he knew he wanted to be a doctor. He grew up at a time when family medicine was new, became a primary care physician, a doctor who could care for any patient who walked through the door. Cradle to grave, delivering babies, doing surgery, uh, the whole works, I enjoyed it all. And so he did for a quarter century, until the doctor, Kerry Callahan, became the patient. I went from having as a lot of doctors do who are healthy, having no doctor of their own uh, to having seven um, and, um, and seeing them regularly and going through lots of tests and procedures. Diagnosed with melanoma in 2003, the cancer returned a decade later to his back, his liver, and his brain. There was surgery, then a drug regimen that so sapped his strength, Dr. Callahan needed three scheduled naps to get through a day of seeing patients. In 2018, he says for his patients as much as himself, Dr. Callahan decided to temporarily leave his practice for one year. And I felt like uh, as of just a couple of weeks ago that I should probably stop the practice until I finish the treatment. It's a two-year treatment course. Not easy for a doctor who had come to love his relationships with his patients. Over the years, that has been the most important thing, and now toward the end of my career, that is the, the main thing that I'm seeing and uh, that I will miss. No more so than his patients, who wrote to tell him so. I got grocery sacks full of mail from my patients and uh, from the staff, and um, uh, it was amazing. But for one year, this doctor would find other things to do. A bluegrass aficionado and banjo player, Kerry would sometimes find the energy to join friends at O'Neill's Pub in Northeast Portland for a Sunday afternoon session. More than anything, it was his music, he says, that allowed him, if only briefly, to escape his battle with cancer. When I was, you know, recuperating from the various treatments, playing music uh, was the one thing that I could do for more than, uh, you know, an hour at a time. I could, I could play for three or four hours and be tired afterwards. It gives you enough energy and takes your mind off you know, whether you have pain or, or worry or whatever, um, it gives you an interval where you're free of that. There was plenty of quiet time too. In that year off, time to build two more banjos, as much beautiful works of art as musical instruments. No surprise, since Kerry will tell you he'd been a woodworker longer than a doctor, his home containing the creations proving the point. But after a year spent away from medicine, it was not the woodworker, but Dr. Callahan, who had reached a difficult decision. I have decided that I will stop practicing. Um, I, I don't feel capable of practicing at a level um, that I would be comfortable with. Primary care is a really challenging uh, job. You're on all the time, um, and uh, you have to be focused, and you don't want to make mistakes. Um, so I'm going to let that go. And so his childhood dream had reached its end. And though he'll miss medicine, his patients, and co-workers, Kerry Callahan says he feels lucky that while the life expectancy of those with his diagnosis can be only months, he's still going, thanks to his doctors and the support of his wife and family and the thousands of patients primary care physician Dr. Kerry Callahan has cared for. It feels like it was a good run. I got to do a lot of things and variety is what I like, life and in medical practice, which is why I went to primary care. So yes, it was a, it was a good thing and it was satisfying. Uh, used parts of my brain that didn't get used to other places. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a good run. Yes, I feel like I got a trail. Thank you. It's a tape.